What is going on boys and grills? Gabsido here and today I have a League of Legends commentary. That could be my new intro, boys and grills. Cause I only say guys really and that's that's fucking sexist man. So I thought, yeah, boys and grills, that's pretty good. Uh not not girls, but grills. Uh so I'm playing mid with a seer, and this is not one of my best champions. Um I, I did start to play him because I wanted to get good at him. I played, like, when I started playing him in normal games, I got fucking wrecked, and I thought that, okay, this is the worst champion in the freaking game. I'm never gonna play this again. This is just not for me. Uh, but then I somehow started playing him again, and I played a normal game, and then I thought, that didn't go that bad, because I fed in every single game that I played him, because I didn't know how to play him. Uh, basically, you just wanna farm early and poke your opponents. Uh, Thresh is gonna do a beautiful player, hook him in, last second I'm just gonna be able to auto-attack, get the freaking kill. Amazing roam by Thresh there. Um, but Asir is super difficult to play, or he, he's considered pretty difficult. Uh, but he's got so much lane control, uh, and with his soldiers, and you can push waves uh, really easily, and farm up. So he, he's also a fun champion, you can do all-in combos and fancy stuff with your walls and stuff like that so it's really good but in solo queue he is kind of hard to carry with uh, but this game I picked because it is freaking sick uh, I'm not gonna spoil exactly what happens but our nexus is gonna have zero HP and we're gonna win anyway wait what no I wait did did you hear something there because I, I thought someone was whispering I don't know but let's move on uh, yeah I'm playing mid this year not one of my best champions, What w is what I was saying, and TF in the jungle, so it's quite a weird, um, well it's not that weird, but o only TF jungle. Uh, actually it was played by, um, what are they called, the team, freaking uh, Unicorns of Love, that's right, Unicorns of Love played it I think, I'm not that into LCS and shit, but uh, I know that Unicorns of Love played jungle tf ones and they they're known for trying out pretty crazy things i think they played poppy uh not so long ago which is just completely weird uh yasuo is gonna all in me and i know that renekton is here so i'm just gonna go in and ult him back or he's actually i'm not gonna go in but he's gonna go in on me and i'm gonna ult him back and renekton is gonna be able to pick up the kill <clears throat> so that was a little bit nice and then i'm gonna start pushing this tower down so let's talk a little bit about the matchup. Uh, I'm playing against Yasuo, as it is pretty obvious, and I am not sure if Yasuo is a counter to Asir or Asir is a counter to Yasuo. It can go both ways, I think. I think it's a skill matchup. It's a very skilled matchup, uh, and it's there is no real counter. Asir can put out his soldiers as soon as Yasuo dashes onto you. You can put out your soldiers and kite him. Um, but at the same time, Yasuo can all in you and he can ult you through your wall anyway like it he becomes untargetable when he uses his ult so if he hits his knockup uh he's gonna be able to ult through your wall anyway uh so that's a good thing about yeah yeah so uh, against this uh azir and he can't do much he can actually block the soldiers uh he can block the q i'm gonna make a little misplay here i thought that i had the freaking minions with me here, but they were just AFK. I don't know. Uh, it could have been nice, but he killed me anyway. So yeah, you can actually stop the Sears Q with the Yasuo wind all, wind wind all, wind wall. And you would think the Yasuo counters a Sears simply because he's so mobile, and a Sears relies on having his soldier like he he relies on positioning his soldiers really well if he's playing against uh, Yasuo because. He cannot use his Q all the time. I make a little nice cheeky play there to get a Mumu. And here my dad comes into the room and starts talking to me. So I could have just used my W uh, Q over the wall and then used my E. But I fucked up because I wasn't concentrating. And then this Aurelia comes. So I just panic flashed. And he's going to be able to jump over the wall somehow anyway. And <laughs> everyone's like, Asir's dad. Yeah. And we're like, they're using fucking tactics because last time they got a kill, someone was DDoSed or something, I don't know. So they, they use some pretty cheeky tactics. I don't know if they called my dad and told him to interrupt me when playing. I don't know. It, it's, it's weird, but 
I'm gonna ult Irelia off here. Uh, she's gonna get pretty fed this game. and it's It seems like it's not really winnable at this point. This is actually my promo to Platinum 3, I think. And I've been in Platinum 3 so many times. And every time I've gotten up, I had trolls and AFKers. Like, literally, it's a fucking joke. I've been up... I've been promoted three times, I think. And every single game after that, it's just been so freaking unlucky with teammates and AFKers and trolls and shit. I actually thought that it would be less of those things when you got to higher elo, but I haven't played against so many AFKers as I have here in Platinum, so it's it seems like it's worse than gold because a lot of people players seems a lot of people players yeah I'm so fucking good at speaking right now, um, but a lot of players seem to tilt because you know in Platinum people got a lot of games. Um, they're not, they're not bad, they're still platinum, uh, but they're not good enough to get diamond, so people tilt and sometimes when they realize that they're not carrying the game, they start trolling instead. Uh, and I'm gonna fail my E here, this is such a fuck up, I failed this so hard. Actually my E is gonna bug, uh, I think, because I totally had the soldier over the wall. And I pressed my E, but nothing happened. I was like, what the fuck? And I could have gotten over the wall and picked up at least two kills maybe there. Uh, instead, I, I was forced to use my Q, wait for the cooldown for my Q, and then jump over the wall, and then I had no mana, so I was dead anyway. So that was a huge fuck up, but I swear to God, that was a bug. Totally. I'm gonna dodge the wind wall uh, nicely there. Uh, put up a t uh, turret, and really it's just gonna go straight for the dive here. And I'm gonna ult them off. And Yasuo is actually gonna be able to flash and pick up the kill. Um, so I should have suspected something when Irelia went so deep. Uh, but a lot of people tend to go pretty aggressive when you put up turrets and tend to underestimate them because they do more damage than normal turrets, I believe. <clears throat> but TF in the jungle, we're thinking like that shit doesn't work. I mean,. What the fuck? Who picks TF jungle? I hadn't seen it before before this game. And they're actually gonna throw their lead a little bit here because they got a huge lead. Rally is super fed. Um, Yasu is doing pretty well too. Uh, and I told them to back here, I think. Uh, I don't know, but Yasuo came and cleaned up. Which is a little bit unfortunate. That's something in this elo that people need to get better at. I'm not saying I'm perfect at it, but a lot of people tend to overstay and they just don't look at the spawn timers, they don't think, like when I'm playing, Twi I've, I've started playing Twisted Fate lately, and a lot of times when you get back from being dead, and the enemies just keep pushing mid with low HP, after a team fight or something, and they don't think that you're gonna ult in mid, but then you just spawn and you ult straight in, they don't think about the cooldown or the the spawn timers or anything they just look at that I couldn't use my Q there because he had the uh, the wind wall uh, but I'm gonna be able to pick up the kill with my ult and Vayne is gonna come and kill us fuck that shit let's surrender or not let's not surrender because here's the team fight we're gonna group up mid <clears throat> don't really know what's gonna happen here but Moom is gonna go in he's gonna flash in get a three man ult and then Bard is gonna ult so I don't really know what's what the point of that Bard ult was uh, it kind of just saved us some time and I I don't know to get ready for the team fight because they got stunned by Moom So that Bartolt was a little bit useless and I got I just bursted down that vein and here Yes, was gonna be placed on top of my soldiers. I'm gonna be able to turn the fight I get a triple kill here and then Bard is gonna be a super troll asshole And I'm gonna stand and click on his uh, fucking portal there But not get through it because I didn't know where to click but TF is going to go and clean up that mess. So I'm just going to go back to base here and get some more damage with that needlessly large rod. So I got huge amount of damage. I've got over 600 AP and I just really need to stay alive. And coming up is a huge throw by me. Uh, watch this fail. I actually, look at this. I'm just going to show you first. Uh, we're going to Baron and I see them here. And I put out a soldier. Look at this. I put out a soldier. And then I meant to put another soldier to then jump to that soldier with my E, but I didn't have it off cooldown. So instead of putting out a soldier, which I thought I did, 
when I pressed E, I then jumped to my first soldier. And that is so stupid because I didn't even target that soldier. But the game is pretty much going to be lost here. So we're going to surrender. As you can see, they're pushing down the base and there's really not much to do. Or is it? Holy shit. Have you seen a fucking Nexus with lower HP than that? No, I like... Have, has that happened in your game? Have you seen a Nexus with that low HP in your fucking ranked game? I don't think so, man. But uh, let's see here. Maybe this uh, Irelia could uh, prove me wrong. Maybe they can get the Nexus lower. So the game is pretty much over here. GG, well played. Surrender. Oh. Well, it's not. I put out my soldier, I jump to it, I use my Q, so fucking smooth. Use my ultimate, knock her back, Thresh is gonna no flash in, flay her back, she's gonna try to jump in again, but it's gonna get knocked back my by my ultimate again. Holy shit, my heart was beating super fast here. And they're like, okay, we just got, we just had two chances to end the game right there. Okay, let's just fucking end it. We got an open nexus. Let's end! We, we were throwing this game, come on. So, we gotta play super cautious here and not get caught. What am I doing? I jump in, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I think I misclick again. I don't know what I'm doing. That was such a stupid play because I'm doing most of our damage and I just jumped in. I did a th I did ult vein into the team, I think. But still, I just instantly died and I think the game is over here. Someone could go for the Nexus right here. Literally, someone could end. Uh, but we're actually gonna win this team fight and I'm so amazed how that happened I have no idea because I just died instantly and I mean we can't f afford those mistakes or, I mean I can't afford those mistakes because I'm the only one doing them uh, but they could just they have an open nexus they could have probably ended there if someone just ran for the nexus instead of team fighting uh, but somehow we're gonna win that team fight and the inhibitor spawns and we actually got a chance here, but I'm gonna get caught, so the game is over. We're gonna surrender right here. Yep, that was unfortunate. I threw the game. We could have won, but unfortunately we lose. Now there are three people or four people. One just died. Okay, three people. Um, two people. Uh, no, actually three people. I'm just kidding. But they can totally just end the game right here. They got an open nexus. Just go for the end. Wait, what? And they're gonna be able to defend this one as well. This freaking team, I love it. I love it. I I love it. And they're gonna be able to kill Bard there as well because Thresh hooked him while he was uh, just going into his uh, troll uh, portal there. And man, I've been caught three times now in a row, or two times actually. Um, but one was a misclick fail because the soldiers, the me the soldier mechanics on a seer are very weird uh, because you automatically jump to the nearest soldier or to any soldier in range if you use your E and I don't think it's supposed to be that I think you have to be able to target it before you can jump to it but this is gonna be a team fight on top of my freaking turret that I just put out I'm gonna zone out every single teammate or enemy out of that fight with my ultimate right there and my turret uh, so Bart is gonna actually have to flash over the wall and we are going to win this team fight. Holy shit! They had like four opportunities to end it right there and We managed to somehow turn it and win. I don't know how this happened, but it's Finally, we're gonna be able to push down um, Or actually we're not gonna push. We're just gonna tank the turrets go for the win. Holy shit platinum 3 baby and actually got demoted to plat 4 again a few games later, but we don't need to talk about that. Uh, who got demoted? No one got demoted. No, no, not at all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Mm -hmm.